Hi guys, welcome to my lab. Look at that. This is a very big item. I bought this thing two weeks ago from eBay Germany. This is a very heavy item, 20 kilos. This device is a Soviet gyro compass which was used in T50, 75 and 80 tanks. This device is quite large also. The diameter of the top cover is around 25 centimeters, 10 inches. The height of this thing is around 40 centimeters. Let's have a look on the hidden plate. So I can read a little bit Russian that it is written here. So we have a three phase power supply, 400 Hz, 36 volts. This is obviously the power supply for the gyro motor inside. We have pins of four and five. So this is written Azimutal Naya Koretsia. So this seems to be the correction for the Azimut output. We have three pins written plus 27 volts. Between pins 7 and 8 it is written Signalizatia Aretera. I don't know what does it mean. Between pins 10 and 11 it is written Horizontal Naya Koretsia. So this is the correction for the other axis. The remaining pins, I think, are the synchro outputs. There is another connector, number two, this one, so this is obviously the power supply, 27 volts. As you can see, this thing is mounted on shock absorbers. There are three shock absorbers, actually, and there are also two dampers. One is here, and the second one is the opposite side. So this seems to be hydraulic dampers. So this is a very serious design. On the opposite side, there is a connector box. Okay, so this is a seal. So this is effectively a kind of wax. I need to remove the wax. This is effectively a connector box, there is nothing exciting inside. Wow, look at that, effectively, this is a gyro. It seems that uh, this thing is locked. There should be an electromagnet or something to unlock that thing. And look at that thing here. There are four stuffs like that. So this seems to be a heater. I'm not sure. Uh, these are the connections uh, to these uh, strange things here. This should be a heater. Because effectively a tank is supposed to be used also in cold environments. So this permits uh, probably to increase the inside temperature. Look at that, there is another gyro on the bottom side. We can see that there are only three wires which are connected to this gyro. 
This is a vertical gyro. This permits to have a rigidity on the vertical. You can see that the course of the position of the gyro is limited. I think that there is an electromagnet inside this thing. This permits to have a fixed position during transportation. As you can see, it is possible to move a little bit this thing, but it is very difficult. And I didn't see, but there is effectively an electromagnet. A pin number one here, it is written. Electromagnet. You can see that there is a cable here. And there is also a small contact here. Okay, so probably this contact permits uh, to know if the electromagnet is activated or not. Inside the tube, there should be two wires uh, probably to activate uh, the electromagnet. Effectively, the electromagnet pin is connected uh, to that pin here. And we can see that there is a wire uh, which is connected uh, effectively to that tube. And the second wire is connected uh, to the ground of that thing. And there is a resistance of uh, 45 ohms. We can try to connect uh, these two pins to a power supply. Okay, so let's see what happens if we supply this electromagnet with 27 volts. The ground here, for example. And effectively, look at that. Okay, and now the gyro is free. Okay, so we can check the contact. Probably the contact should be closed when the electromagnet is activated. Okay. The next step will be to design a three-phase 36 volts AC power supply in order to supply the gyro motors. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.